Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Before you walk away, how excited are you for tonight? I'm super excited. I can't believe the entire rowing community came out. It's going to be so great. It's so exciting. I can't believe that we are, I believe, the first in America to actually see the premiere in an official way, not yep. an early pre screen. It talks about and says so much about Philadelphia as the birthplace of American rowing. And we came out in force. It's so exciting and for such an amazing cause as well. All of our amazing organizations that we're honoring and amplifying tonight. Awesome. Well, uh, my name is Eamon Glavin. I'm Bonnie Mueller. I'm the Commodore of the Schuylkill Navy. And tonight we will be bringing you coverage of the Boys in the Boat premiere here in Philadelphia. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. So we have an entire red carpet all set up with a backdrop, step and repeat. It's going to be a ton of different clubs. We have about 30 different clubs that are coming through from organizations of head of the Schuylkill River to some of the Gold Cup, all the way from all the different tons of just boat clubs and up and down the Schuylkill from Conshohocken down to uh, Boathouse Row. One of the biggest things about tonight is it's a fundraiser. So there are five different organizations we are fundraising for. PCR, BLJ, a most beautiful thing, the uh, PCAS, PAR, like inclusion row, adaptive rowing, and then the Schuylkill Navy High Performance Collaborative. So with all of that being said, the proceeds from tonight are going to be sent to those clubs and groups and it's going to be a ton of fun. As you can see behind us, we have some Undine Boat Club members with their fantastic blazers. Uh, one of the big things about tonight is we're going to have Henley blazers abound. So the, the pinstripes and everything, it's all the boat club's colors. So as the night goes on, Women's national teams here, they're going to be taking photos and then I'm going to interview some of them. So one of the biggest things about this movie is it really is just going to be a huge moment for the world of rowing. We've spent a lot of time like talking about how to get more people involved in rowing. And a movie like this going on the big screen is going to just take all those conversations and amplify them 10 times, 20 times because there are literally going to be millions of people that see rowing for the first time, especially on the big screen or probably on a streaming service. I think one of the coolest things about tonight is everybody is going to be dressing up. So we have Allison Baker coming on in in her yes, in her Henley yeah, in her Henley uh, jacket from Ohio State. So not the right school. It's not the right school. I'm so sorry. What do you mean, right school? Go dogs. Go dogs? No, no, no. Ohio oh, State. <laughs> go dogs. I have to get my fingers. There we go. Yeah, there you go. go you, I'm not able to do it. So one of the most fun things about tonight is going to be what? Um, watching rowing on the big screen. Exactly. Like watching rowing on the big screen. I am over the moon excited. The first time I watched it, so I saw a pre-screening. The first time I watched it, I cried. Like three different times when I saw this sport on the big screen. Cry. All, <laughs> all the crying. It was just like, oh my gosh, this, this like sport I had been filming for months, years. Like it's taken up so much of my life. Seeing it on the big screen, legitimate like, Hollywood actors and producers and everything. It's just such a powerful thing to see, especially the story. It's incredible. Get in there. Get in there. Who do you want me to get? Uh, our friends from uh, Philadelphia City Rally. Yeah, so, pull, them in. pull them in if you can. Women's national team. Oh, <laughs> look at them. What are we most excited about tonight? Seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. That's, really nice. yeah. That's not what I said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This women go, dog. go dogs, go dogs, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Inspiring the next generation. Oh, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> women in the boat after boys in the boat. Yeah, Charlotte, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. I have a. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. You look incredible. Yeah, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wearing, honestly, I have no idea. It was what that a, a seamstress in my town, my hometown in Nyack, made oh these God. pants. They're one of a kind. That's incredible. So very fun. So, what is your Instagram account name for your training center? It's called Women in the Boat. It's called Women in the Boat. What is this movie called? Boys in the Boat. So we have the Women in the Boat here watching Boys in the Boat. What's not to love? Perfect. It's just synergy. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. So what are you most excited about tonight? 
I feel like I'm just excited to see rowing on this biggest screen. Like, we don't get to see ourselves in the limelight almost ever. And even being Olympians, like, people don't pay that much attention. So it's so cool to get to be inspired by other athletes that did amazing things in this sport. What do you think is going to happen to the sport after people watch this movie? People are going to freak out. They're going to be like, we need to learn all about rowing and hopefully watch all of us in Paris next year. Oh, yeah. So the Olympic Games are in Paris. It is going to be incredible incredibly fun to watch because I'm friends with all these incredible athletes and I'll be following them for the entire year as they train to try and make the U.S. Olympic team. It's going to be a lot of fun watching you guys. Good luck. Thank you so much, Aaron. Have so much fun tonight. Everybody should tune into everything on the Rowing Network. Yes. So the, women's, the women in the boat are being supported by the Rowing Network to come here. It is a fundraiser after all. So I'm very glad I was able to donate enough to be able to have them come and see this incredible film on the big screen. I'm excited for you guys to watch it. It's going to be so much fun. All right. Thanks. Have fun. Go get some popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, the yeah. Knopkas. Hi, Knopkas. I'm going to send that to Kate. Hi, Mom. Hello, Eamon. Are you excited? I am very excited. Yeah. It was. I called you this morning and was like, do you want to come? And I was like, absolutely. I'm, I'm glad here. she came. Thank you for fun. having me. Yeah. Yes. I'll enjoy. see you in there. Enjoy. Okay. I'll be around. You guys want photos? We need to keep walking. Keep going. Let me know. Hey, what are you most excited for about the film? I'm just so excited to bring the rowing community together. This is going to be pretty sweet to see you know, rowing on the main screen. Oh, yeah. Have fun in there. Enjoy it. Hi. Good to see you guys. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Do you know where the men's room is? The men's room is, I believe, on that side. Quickly, quickly now. Hi, Hi, Eamon. Nice to meet you. You as well. Uh, Bonnie wanted us to come talk to you. How so? Uh, we're PCR. Oh, PCR. Come on in. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Hello. Great to see you guys. I'm going to step this way a little bit. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's the screen. So we got to... You, you guys all stand on this side. All right. All right. All right. Watch. Yep, yep, yep. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Okay. So we have PCR in the building. Are you guys excited for tonight? Yes. Very much so. Yeah, great. When people think of PCR, what should they be thinking? Oh, man. Uh, providing opportunity for public school students to experience rowing and the, um, you know, the avenues to college and further down in their career that it can provide. Do you think this movie will help get some more kids in to teach them how to row? Absolutely. And, and PCR's goal is to make sure that there's enough room for all the Joe Rances of the world to make their way into boats. And what are you guys most excited for about this movie? It's, I mean, it's just a great story about how kids from all backgrounds uh, got through and, and made it to the Olympics. And I think we hope that some of our PCR kids can do the same someday. And what's one thing you would want to say to a kid thinking about rowing a PCR? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Me? Yeah, what would you say to them? Uh, no. You've got the biggest PCR in here. you got to tell them. What would you tell someone who wants to row PCR? Okay. I'm not good for talk. Uh, it's okay. I want him to say, just just try it, like, try. just come out, just try, try it. it, it's gonna be fun, you know? Yeah. Getting in the boat, it's fun. Yeah. yeah, we like to say they come for the friend, or they come for the scenes, the snacks, and they stay for the friends, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the trailer that goes on that I helped put together from all the stuff that was sent to me. But, um, yeah, come on in, and I'll see you guys later. See you. Thanks, yeah, enjoy tonight. Oh, yeah. Al, what are you doing? Seriously. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> got a lot. We got a lot going on. <laughs> People are starting to filter into the film. It's going to be packed. The best spots will be taken, so there will be a little bit of a conversation right before. Ah, the pen coaches. We got the pen men and women's coaches. You guys excited? Can't wait. Can't wait. I've heard that there's a really good film that has come up that might be there might be a trailer for. Yeah, we'll see. I think it'll be fun to see, some fun to watch. Have a good day. Behind me, we have some of the kids that I coached in high school. These kids are from the Harvard School. Will's the only one without a tie. <laughs> he didn't get the memo. What are you guys most excited for for this film? What I'm most excited for? Um, I'm hoping it'll give me some motivation to get me through the rest of the winter. You know, it's it's. I got a big winter ahead of me. You know, erg test tomorrow. Erg te we do oh, have an erg test tomorrow. We have oh boy tomorrow. So you know, hopefully it'll get me like locked in in the right mindset so that I'm dialed in for tomorrow. Awesome. All right, get in there. Go go go! You're holding up the line. <laughs> oh my gosh, have fun in there, guys.
What's one thing you want to say to the Schuylkill Navy High Performance Collaborative that you're part of? <laughs> Let me get a yellow pepper. Get rid of the, uh, I don't know what he said. <laughs> I have no idea. What did he say? <laughs> Bye. Have fun. You excited? Super excited. Yeah. Very go excited. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. And at go dogs. <laughs> what are you most excited for about tonight? Oh, putting me on the spot. I, I can't wait to see the movie. Yeah. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Rowing on the big screen. It's going to be fun. Yeah, exactly. I, the book, book so I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happens. I, book, we wonder what happens. Book was, awesome. book was awesome, so I'm excited for, yeah, for the awesome. movie. So. Well, have fun. Enjoy it. <laughs> Whose stuff is this? Is this yours? Okay. No, I was like, I can move it under here and oh, give you... <laughs> I forgot you were wearing a backpack. I was like, who, who just left it? Then I like looked up. You're good. We have Brandon from BLJ with her friends and <laughs> supporters in the. We got some high movers and shakers here in the Philadelphia scene. What are you guys most excited? What are you guys most excited for for tonight? Uh -oh. uh -oh. Me meeting my girl here from the from the Schuylkill Navy. Thank you. And Amazing. Brandon, yeah, come on, come on in. Go watch the movie. Go watch the movie. You excited for tonight? I am. I am. I think it's fun to see a bunch of wrong people out, and we're excited about and it. And you look fantastic as always. Thank you. So Thank hope you, you like your little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy the trailer and put together. Thank you. Thank you. Should work. For sure. Yeah. Good to see you. Let's get the Ernst in there. Hey, go Ford. And uh, go Fords, baby. You can see jackets, they're all the same. Good. Yeah. We gotta keep moving. Get people going. Yes, Movie's right. coming in. Okay. Have fun tonight. Okay. Hey, thank you. Am I supposed to save you a seat? Um, ideally on the end somewhere. If yeah, we're not on the that's end. That's what I figured, so don't worry about me. We're Have down in the front in the middle. Okay. I'll, I'll find a seat wherever. Okay. Or just like Sorry. stand in the back. Don't worry about me. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. You excited? Everyone was like, you're not sitting next to Eamon. Oh. Like, no. <laughs> why would I do that? Hey, why would you do that? I'm no fun to sit next to because I'm just like, oh my god, it's rowing. Crying the whole time. <laughs> yeah, crying the whole time. It'll be fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Okay, great. Oh, your videos are great. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You excited for tonight? Of course. Yeah? Did you read the book? <laughs> yeah? I haven't really finished the book. I kind of know what happens. You excited? I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm over the moon excited. Over the moon. Over the moon excited. Oh my god. What's um what's one thing people should be looking out for in the next year after they watch this movie? Man, um I hope the popularity of rowing continues to peak. That would be amazing. I hope that just this story, which is so unique, I think it's just such a classic American dream feel good story. I think oh, that's yeah. always that's always a winning thing. And when it has when it involves rowing, it can you know, nothing better than that. What's not to love? What's not to love? And what, what should people be looking for specifically this summer? This summer, the U.S. women's rowing team, obviously. Going to Paris, <laughs> baby. It's going to be so much fun. Good luck. Thanks, and have fun watching it. Mwah. Get, get inspired. Ah, get inspired. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Look at all of them Hereford Blazers. And uh, go Fords. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Caroline, come here. So one of the things, oops, one of the things that's going to play before the movie is a trailer, and it's a trailer for something that Caroline and I have been working on. Yep. What would that be? It is our coach documentary. Uh, we have been able to interview the head coaches of the women's programs for the Ivy League Conference. Um, so we're seeing all these coaches that all race each other and getting their perspective of why they coach, why do they love rowing, why do we do this sport. And that's kind of the heart of it. Very nice. And what's one of the reasons you made this made happen? This, right? the, no, the, the do coach's documentary. Like, why? What, what inspired it? My own dad, actually. Um, I oh, was raised your own by dad who's right here? So come on. Come on in. Come on in real quick. <laughs> ah, that was a great segue. So, Coach Post, are you excited for tonight? How you doing? I'm great. You excited? I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> yeah? What's, um, when people watch this film, what's one thing you want them to think of? I, I guess you... Try to put yourself at that era and that time. I think that's one thing that people should think of, and um, and that, that to me is what's exciting about this. I mean, I, most so many of us are immersed in rowing today, yeah. but I mean, it's a whole different world for the, these these kids 
uh, the spectators and um, yeah, they used to have train cars that went alongside. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think I think that there's going to be a lot more kids coming to get some coaching from you. So I hope your athlete numbers shoot way up. I can only handle so many, but I'm glad you're so optimistic. Oh, I'm extremely optimistic. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a lovely night. Thank, Thank you. David. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to wrap it up here from the red carpet pre-movie. I might come out here right after to see people's like quick reactions and maybe interview some Olympians who rode in 1964, 2004 men's eights that won gold, just like this 1936 men's eight that won gold. All right. Hello. Yay! Hello, Philadelphia. Hello, Boathouse Row. Hello, Regional Rowing. Hello, uh, United States of America. We have many guests here tonight. Uh, it is so exciting for us to welcome you to the American official premiere of The Boys in the Boat. Yay! <laughs> So we are not going to delay getting started very long, but I just wanted to, of course, thank you all for being here. I also wanted to introduce myself. I have the honor and the privilege of being the Commodore of the Schuylkill Navy. I am joined here tonight by Margaret Meggs, who many of you, uh, I think most of you know, who is also a Commodore. We don't like to say former Commodore, just like we don't say former Olympians for all the Olympians in the room. So Margaret is Commodore Paul Horvat. Al Wachlin is here, also a Commodore. I don't think that we have any others unless John Hogan snuck in at some point. But it's such an honor uh, to, to serve this rowing community and to be able to do things like this this evening. You know, as Commodore, uh, you get interesting phone calls, right? <laughs> Uh, sometimes you get phone calls to our, our U.S. Army Corps of Engineer uh, fans who are here and our friends that are like, oh, uh, the dredge is uh, moving into a bridge. And sometimes we get calls that say that a big storm is about to you know, wash away a dock or something like that. But we also get other phone calls. We get phone calls like the phone call that we got from our amazing partners who are here tonight from the Fairmount Park Conservancy that we are going to have the opportunity to relight all of Boathouse Row. Another celebration that we will be inviting you to. Yes, the Fairmount Park Conservancy absolutely deserves that. We get phone calls from our friends from the William Penn Foundation also here tonight saying, hey, we're going to help out with a big lift that nobody else you know, is, is really even having on their radar screen. And so between all of these friends, we get these phone calls that help us in the hard times. But when we get phone calls like that, that give us that kind of extra boost, it, it puts the wind in our sails. And this was definitely one of the phone calls. So when we got a phone call from the production company saying that Philadelphia would be the American official premiere of this movie, it was like the best possible uh, phone call of all. But it made sense, right? Because Philadelphia, as Dottie Brown says, is the birthplace of American rowing. It is also the home to so many champions. And I do want to acknowledge that in the room tonight, you probably can identify them. We have so many Olympians in the room tonight, including several who uh, were our boys in the boat and girls in the boat. So before I say just a couple other thank yous, can uh, those of you who have rowed in an Olympic Games or Paralympic Games or uh, actually uh, medaled and championed in a national team, senior national team world championship. If you could stand and just be acknowledged by everyone in this room and receive our applause. You are our champions. You are our champions. You are our athletes in the boat. And we are so proud of everything that you're doing. The last thing that I wanted to say is, or two things uh, very quickly. Number one, we saw this as an opportunity to lift up and to amplify. And I also would like to have rise individuals who are the leaders of five amazing organizations that we're honoring tonight. Those include 
Philadelphia Adaptive Rowing, Philadelphia City Rowing, BLJ Community Rowing, Arshay Cooper's Most Beautiful Inclusion Fund, and also everyone involved in our Schuylkill Navy High Performance Collaboratives. So if you are a coach or an athlete, if you are an athlete from PAR and you're able to stand, if not, please raise your hand and be acknowledged at PCR, BLJ, everyone on your feet so that we can applaud you as well. Thank you for being here, and thank you for, thank you for lending your agency to them. The very last thing, none, nothing good happens alone. I do want to acknowledge Margaret, as well as all the folks who joined in this steering committee. A big round of applause for them. You can see their names in the program book. Uh, the phone call came about like eight or nine days ago. So you know this was a lot of work in a small amount of time. But hey, we moved to Stotesbury in 36 hours. So this was easy to do. So a big shout out to that steering committee, please. And with that said, I want to introduce you first, not to the movie, but to the work of the amazing Eamon Glavin, who, by the way, I think is absolutely transforming our sport from a cinematography perspective. Thank you, Eamon Glavin, for being here to the Rowing Network. And for making it possible to uh, show you uh, uh, our own, really, star trailers this evening. Thank you so much. PCR is really good to find like friends, also get in cardio, build strength, build muscle. It's an awesome opportunity to come out and do something special. It's a really good community. You get to learn how to do a sport that I didn't really even think about before PCR. It's opportunity for kids just to try a new sport. PCR is my home away from home. Yeah, it's my life. PCR has been a great benefit to our family in more than one way, and continued support for it as well is definitely needed. To me, it just helps to, to build them and make them well-rounded. a really safe, beautiful sport in nature. It's not about the winning, it is about the participation and the character that the kids are building within themselves. Most beautiful thing inclusion fund we teach young people to minimize the distance between their dreams and their actions we help them to allow the fire inside of them to shine brighter than the fire that happens around them we help them to realize that every time they conquer a fear life get a lot less scary it's about giving them access and watching young people rise. If we can eliminate the small dream, there's room for bigger dreams. It's just been really nice to have a group that they just accept what you can do and what you can't do and they really help you grow with that. The barriers to entry, I think, are really high in the beginning as far as the equipment, the infrastructure. So when we have our own dedicated boathouse with our own dedicated equipment, I think is really the most important thing because without that, there's no rowing at all. So it takes a long time for somebody to get here. They have to go through a lot to get to our doorstep, but I know once they arrive, they're going to really thrive in this environment. Philadelphia Ad Adaptive Rowing is really like a, a new family for me. I like PCS just because of the environment. The people are just great and they want you to improve. If you're interested in making a difference, this is where we actually change our community, you know, whether by 
participating as an athlete or supporting us uh, financially because we are a nonprofit. We make our communities more inclusive. This makes communities better because everybody can participate. I'm happy and grateful that I have been able to join this program and just get better and be the best person I could be on the water. The Yogi community is a really, really special place in the rowing community. Our mission is to create access to the elite sport of rowing by removing boundaries, creating opportunities and fostering community. And I have made it my life's mission to really create a space for excellence. And that's what the sport has given us, right? The magic of mastering the mundane. Inspiring to watch the change that we've been seeing recently in the sport. I think it also reminds me to stay focused. So much to do, how to move the sport forward and how to really do the work of being human and embracing all of the changes while pursuing excellence. We're really having clear discussions and there's some concrete community commitments and I think it's really great. The easiest way to support BLJ Community Rowing will be to donate. Our website's bljcommunityrowing.com. Right? If you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. The hard part for us is just, are people willing to take the leap? What gets me out of bed on the tough days is knowing that I'm living the dream. Honestly, it's my teammates. It's getting to work with a great group and uh, know that everyone else is going to be here working hard. The athletes, <laughs> no surprise. They really have a goal they're trying to achieve. And to be able to contribute to that and further them along that path, generally I don't need the alarm. The why has to be in the day to day. The squad that we have here in Philly is unmatched. So the athletes that we have are for the most part athletes that found rowing in college. Since moving here, I just love it. The city's got some grit to it. I honestly just love Philly. It's a great town. Yeah, the best thing that someone can do Supporting the club in any way. Any support that people can give is really appreciated. Resources. There's always resources. The more financial support we have, the more athletes we can serve, and the better we can serve the athletes that we have. The whole goal is to figure out how to hit failure on the last stroke of the race. You can't just know the sport, you have to be able to communicate the sport to others and help them find the sport. You have those little victories and they push you on and you think, oh my gosh, I've got this. Everyone is facing the same challenges and we're also trying to do the same thing. My feeling is you have to do it. If you, you know, don't do the job, leave if you can't do that. I have to. The other coaches in the Ivy League are some of my best friends. I've enjoyed being part of it and feel lucky to have been part of it. Okay, so everybody's now walking out of the theater after having watched it. I hope people have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. This is the third time I've watched it. Well, two and a half. I didn't really get to watch it this time. Great. Yeah, what'd you think? Great production. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's great. Any, uh, any, any comments on the movie and what you think after, you know, having been someone who went through the Olympics yeah, was, in a men's eight? It, it was very real. The, yeah. The, uh, the imagery, the acting was strong. The rowing wasn't too bad for yeah. having a mix of people that have to have never have never rode before and you can tell they're pretty athletic yeah and the the venues were really good the yeah. way that they did all of it yeah and the pageantry uh, the 19 the, the berlin olympics i've been to the the venue and it was it's incredible the way they designed the whole complex and so to, to go there and to beat the germans in front of their crowd was pretty awesome oh yeah yeah very yeah, I, I memorable that, like having been someone who films rowing mm -hmm. it is the best rowing can look at the yes. moment. So yeah, they did a great job. I'll keep doing what I can, yes. but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. awesome. I'm, great to see I'm you really glad you were able yeah, to make it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the yeah, invite. thank you. Keep in touch. Yeah, Jason Reed was spouse seat of the 2004 U.S. Men's Eight that won gold. So that's pretty cool to see for him to see that, like you know, the predecessors to what he was in. As as soon as they like crossed the line, I ran out here. What'd you think? 
Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. They did such a good job. I wept. I'm so proud that this is the story that we get to show. Yeah. And I'm an alumni, so like that's, I'm, I'm so Go happy. Dogs. Go dogs. <laughs> I, I literally like, every time there was the actual rowing races, so the three of them, I, I teared up like in the first time I watched it. Oh my God, it was just, you know, I read the book as a walk on. I, I walked on and then I got to read the book. Oh and God. so like this, to like see kind of this come to life, it was like, oh, yeah, everything that you dream of to be a walk on for Washington, like I get to, I've gotten to do what these guys have done and go to the Olympics. So it's it was just so well done. I'm so happy for it. I I cried very much, obviously, but so I uh, yeah. I couldn't be happier and I couldn't be more proud to be a Husky and be represented in such a way and an Olympian and be represented I'm, that way. I'm glad you were able to make it and catcher in Paris. Let's go. Hopefully. Yep. No, we. Uh, Okay. We'll, start, we'll have a Women in the Boat movie one day. Well, a women in the Boat, uh, if you haven't followed it, go do so. Um, Great account. But no, this is a building on legacies, oh, yeah. so this is what we love to do. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the Women in the Boat getting their photos, last second photos taken. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can. Okay. Women in the Boat. What, what'd you think? What'd you think? So good. Oh, it was so good. It was unexpectedly funny in a lot of ways, which was so good. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of funny moments, great, just rowing, yeah. love the rowing. <laughs> I was really inspired, it was really beautiful. Even I'm a though poet. they were kind of ragging on Penn a little bit. <laughs> they deserved it, I think. <laughs> I, I had to watch Columbia get beaten, us high and mighty Ivy Leaguers, you know. Okay, the Ohio State shout out also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Jesse Owens. There were like a lot of like good added touches that obviously like, you know, didn't actually happen in real life, but I think the Jesse Owens one was good of like, you do a nod to like the other, the importance of him going and the importance of, I'll give this line away, that he doesn't say that it's about Germans seeing him compete, but it's about Americans seeing him compete. And like those of like the era touches that are important for us to still think about. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. I'm really glad you guys were able to make it. And I hope you guys aren't too tired for practice in the morning. Uh, Jesse let us come, so he knows we're here. So we're not skipping oh, out. But thank goodness, I was thank worried. You, Jesse. <laughs> I think it's free speed. I think we'll be faster. In the oh yeah, free speed. Bit. It's free speed. We love the free speed. Steady state. We'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, Just, no, 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 no. This this movie is making us faster. Yeah. Yeah. This is fast. I agree. Well, have a lovely night. Thank you for coming. Women in the boat. Women in the boat. Women in the boat. Yeah, we're, hey. we're inspired up. Yeah. We got a bunch of LaSalle, some Undine cla lads. Gotta love it. Everyone's having themselves a lovely night. We had a, we had a whole red carpet out, like you can see. It's, it feels really official. It feels like the actual premiere. I'm so excited for the coach. Or coach, I guess. Coach. I don't know. Caroline's the one doing it, so very exciting. Any thoughts on the movie? It was amazing. Yeah, Honestly, right? I don't. It's in, it's kind of surprising for people like us to be yeah. like, oh wow, they actually like showed pretty well. Yeah, it's got humor. It's got. I thought the rowing was actually pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, I was surprised. Exciting and good. Um, we got character development. We got love, romance, turmoil, oh, yeah. good times, bad times, all the stuff. So it was good. Have a good night and good luck training tomorrow. Have fun and see you guys in Paris. <laughs> All right, bye guys. All the group photos happening again. What was your seat voice? Six. Six. Six man, all, all the power right here. Oh yeah, step right to here. Six seat, of course. Is the yeah, most, so. The, the most important. Of course, it's powerhouse. You know that. Of course. I was a bow seater, because I'm a little small. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what'd you think of the movie after watching it and seeing with a full auditorium filled with other rowers. What was it like for you? Well, I, I just said to somebody that I've had, I had goosebumps for about uh, 45 minutes, <laughs> nonstop. Definitely. Just especially when they were doing, working up into a sprint. Mm -hmm. It was a little unrealistic when they showed how far back yeah, yeah. The, the Washington was and how much ground they had to make up. Yeah, nobody's making up four lengths in an Olympic final. No, no. <laughs> but, but the, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful book. Yes. It's got such depth and so many different uh, subjects that it covered. And there's no way possible to put that into a, what was it, a two-hour movie? Yeah. One. 
to get it all in. Yeah. So, of course, he had the, the, the people who produced it had to leave out important yeah. elements of the book. And but, they had to shorten the whole time frame. It seemed like they went from novices to Olympic yes. champions in one year. Yes. Not even one year, like one season. Yes. And that, we know that doesn't and not happen. Not even Vesper could do not that. Not even Vesper could do that. So when, when you think about like your first time rowing, getting in a boat, and going through the trials that you had to go through in order to start making the national team, making the Olympic yeah. team, what was it like watching that versus what you felt? when you did it, or if, if it brings up any memories. Oh, God, it brings yeah. up memories. I'm sure. Um, we, our, our boat was slapped together five weeks before the Olympic trials, so okay. in, in some ways there were similarities in terms of, of the movie's compression of time. Mm -hmm. um, but we were all pretty experienced yeah. small boat rowers, and that, that helped Pair a whole lot. specialists, four specialists. Yeah. Everybody coming together for the big eight. Com um, coming together, Vesper's motto is all together. Right. If ever there was a crew that was all untogether, yeah. our crew was that, was that one. Yeah. But, but, you know, all in all, I come away very, very excited. Uh, yes. and, and as I said, uh, goosebumps from seeing seeing the final sprint you know and yes. the <laughs> it is it is a little unrealistic but it, man it really tugs at the heartstrings oh my god the feelings that you get when you're like needing to last last bit right and you know we raced we were against the germans mm -hmm. in 64 in the finals and we had to beat them they were the yes. Ratzeberg crew was the best in the world yes and we were we were unknown so um in some way, there's some pretty good parallels. Yeah. And when you guys were, did, did you guys do any of the parading at, at the Olympic walks at the beginning? The oh, yes. The opening ceremonies? Oh, yeah. Because I know a lot of them now don't because it's right before the Olympic, like the race starts, so they want right. to get off their legs because you no, spent a lot of time standing. we did. Training. And a very important element of that was they released a great big bag of, of doves. Oh, that's right. And the doves, you know, they, they're totally confused. They fly around in circles like this. And one pooped on our coxswain's head. <laughs> and we, we consider that to be the best, oh, the best of good luck. I, I was rowing in Ireland and I got pooped on. And everybody's like, yes, we're going to do well. I was like, what? I don't understand. It's yeah. a simple formula. Yeah. And then when you, when you think about the next generation of rowers who are going to see this movie, who don't know the rowers yet, what would you say to them? Or what would you want them to experience? Well, when you see the elation of crews when they've had a really tough race like that, and when very few people thought that they could, they could pull it off to, to really race well and, and to win, yeah. which you do every now and then, you know, by no means all the time, but that elation is incomparable. I mean, that's just a, a, a life-changing experience. So, very, very exciting. I'm, I'm delighted yeah. with the movie. Well, I'm glad you were able to come and see it, and, uh, uh, in a, especially in a theater full of other rowers that yeah, yeah. also would enjoy well, well done, it. Well done to you, yeah, for, you. for what you're doing. You said you were in Ireland? Are you... I lived in Ireland for a year and a half. It was, they, they pronounce it as Stolga. 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 Yeah. Stolga. I graduated in uh, 2006, so 